Just speaking generally, generally, just speaking generally, generally what happens. Hello and good morning ladies. I have a special announcement. I've been holding off because I wanted to wait till it was closer to the actual date to make sure nothing got moved because things can always go wrong when there's legal stuff involved. But we have a court date. That means we have a finalization date for Evangeline's adoption and I'm so excited. Excited. <laughs> this is the final step in any adoption. Generally what happens is you have the termination of rights of either birth mom or birth mom and birth father are in the hospital or in the next few days. And then a few months later you have finalization by the courts. This is when you gather up all the paperwork you've been doing, your home study, all of the receipts for expenses, all the doctor's visits, um, all the post-placement visits that your social care worker's done, um, and you submit them to the court and you say, you know, we have relinquishment from one or both birth parents, and then if you need to, this is when you would terminate birth father's rights if you don't have his relinquishment. So have relinquishment or we're getting it, we, this is what you know we've paid there's nothing shady we didn't pay her or baby or anything like that right that's part of what the legal system's there to protect against double checking the expenses making sure they were all legit and needed then making sure that the adoptive parents haven't lied at any point and they can back up all their claims and if all of that is in order the judge judge says that it's final and you get a new birth certificate issued that was all generally speaking i know that was a little more information than you needed i just wanted to make sure that everybody knew what a general relinquishment court date looks like without sharing any of the details of ours but I know a lot of people are like wait can it change I thought it was done no it's not quite done nothing can really change unless they think that we lied I th is really all that can happen to us right now if we at some point lied then that would be a problem but we have not so we're good to go this is just the final legal step in the process and oh what a relief to almost have it done. I'm really excited because we are going to make a day and a kind of a party of it since it is the final step in our adoption process. So the grandparents are gonna come to our court date and celebrate with us and see her become an official member, uh, I say official, a legal member of our family. Anyway, so she legally will join our family and legally get her name changed to ours and then we are good, no more visits, no more paperwork, nothing. And I'm so excited to close this chapter and just celebrate this victory a little bit. We adore her so, so much and she is truly, truly our daughter and this is the final step in that. Our court date is the 11th, we're gonna make a big party of it just make a day of it and really celebrate a lot of adoption is obviously kind of tinged with loss and grief and I just want this day to be a really special one for everyone involved where we can really really celebrate like I said up until now you know it's we got matched but something could go wrong it's like we're in the hospital but you never know and relinquishment was you know obviously just a very bittersweet moment so I really want this day to just be that true celebration of welcoming our daughter into our family permanently. Oh, it just makes me so happy to think about. So, anyway, I just wanted to let you know that that's coming up. If I get cute footage from that day, I'll of course have a day or a video around what happened that day in court and everything. But um, until next time, ladies, bye. Keep on fighting.